Hi, I'm Anne Marie Morell with Patriot Update, bringing you my take on the news and events that happen throughout the week. In today's Conservative Hollywood Report, very conservative actor Scott Bayo is working on a new sitcom, possibly for Nick at Night, called Daddy's Home, with Bayo starring as a father of three. I had the pleasure of meeting Scott Bayo earlier this year, and I was so impressed with his love for all things conservative, and he even got a little teary-eyed talking about when he attended President Reagan's funeral. Um, I spoke to Bayo's agency, and they said that Nick at Night has not yet picked up this show. So if you want to support conservative Hollywood and not those other guys, give a call or write a letter to Nick at Night. Let them know that you heard about this show and you want to see Scott Bayo on TV. Who knows, your call or your letter may be the thing that makes a Hollywood executive do the right thing for a change. One of my new dear friends is someone I consider one of the most underrated and underappreciated comedians in television history. She is Victoria Jackson. You probably know her best from Saturday Night Live, but Victoria has become one of the most outspoken conservatives in the media today. Besides speaking at Tea Party rallies and writing articles for World Net Daily, Victoria has also recently launched a new website called Vicky Goes to Washington. Victoria literally went to Washington, D.C. and turned her video cameras around doing kind of woman on the street interviews. And while you're on her website, be sure and check out her early appearances on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. She is brilliantly funny. I just, you will love it. And on a personal note, Victoria Jackson is one of the sweetest, most genuine people I've met in a long, long time. She's a wonderful person. She's a great Christian. So be sure and support Victoria in all her endeavors and check out VickyGoesToWashington.com. I have another must-read book for your summertime collection. It's called Turning Right at Hollywood and Vine, written by Roger L. Simon. I talked about Roger Simon in my last Hollywood video as being the CEO of Pajamas Media, PJTV, and the writer of the new movie, A Better Life. This book is a fascinating look into Roger Simon's past as a radical liberal, and I mean hanging with the likes of Abby Hoffman and the Black Panthers, but then he transformed and he came from the dark to the right, and he turned into one of our biggest conservative media moguls that we have in America right now. So be sure and check out Turning Right at Hollywood and Vine by Roger L. Simon. You'll love it. Finally, a lot of you have been asking me, what can we do to combat the vile, vicious vapids on the left who are constantly belittling our beliefs or making fun of us or calling us names? My advice is to do the same thing we would do with any of our elected officials when they get out of line or a child if they misbehave. We've got to call them on it. We shouldn't punish ourselves by stop seeing movies or selling our TV sets. That's not hurting them in the least. What we've got to do is write to the magazines and newspapers, call the networks and the movie studios anytime you hear them say anything wrong. I honestly believe that one of the reasons they keep doing this is because they've never been challenged. We're the nice guys. We don't like confrontation. But we have got to speak up for ourselves because, as you know, there are few in the media who are willing to step out of their comfort zones and do it for us. That's it from Hollywood. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I'm Anne-Marie Morell with Patriot Update saying stay safe and keep the faith.